Hello and welcome. Today, let's see how to split a table in multiple files based on specific column. Let's say that you want to split this file for each one of the countries, so you would have to filter down each one of these countries and save it as the name of the file, the name of the country, right? How can we do that? We can use the click script and create a loop to do that automatically, no matter how many times you have to do that. This table is just an example from the FAO stat. So basically I got here uh, some crop information from all the countries. Basically it's area harvested from all this list. I selected all the countries. I have here grapes, maize, potato and rice from 2019. I created here a click file connected to my folder where I have this file. And now let's import this, this table to click. If you want to work with FAO data, just keep in mind that you have some observations here. So for example, we have China more than once and some other crops are grouped. So you need to pay attention to these points. If I load this data in click, let's see what we have. Let's bring here a table with the area. And area here means country. And let's count how many countries we have in this data set. Let's use the distinct to count, to remove the duplicates, basically. So we would have to loop 188 times to have separate files for each one of these uh, blocks, okay? How can we do that? Well, um, first, let's go back to the script. So I'm now calling this table main table, okay? And I want to show you something very interesting. We can filter this table using the where clause. So let's say that we want data only from Argentina. We can come here, uh, write where in area, which is the name of the column. And I want to filter data when it equals to Argentina. So I come here. I type where area equals to Argentina with single quotes. And if I load this data, I will now have only Argentina being displayed here. Okay. Uh, so second step, let's pick this table. I will just paste it again here, remove this where, and I will also remove all the other columns except for the area column. Okay. And now we will use the distinct command here so that we will only load one area for each row this table will be named countries okay so basically what we have here is a country list we can store this table so that we can view what we have let's let's do that we can store countries which is the name of the table into our path here so we have source let's just paste it in here and i will call this file country list country list.csv and we have some parameters here to export this file, okay, to store it. So the limiter is, I will use a semicolon. And if I hit load, we have now the country list and we have all the, all the countries here in, uh, without duplicates. Now what we have to do is for each row that we have in this table, we need to pass it with this filter, right? So we will store this table when the filter is dynamically being passed with a variable, okay? So let's store this main table into a specific path, which could be, for example, um, Argentina, in this case, because we have here Argentina, okay? Just to understand what we're doing. So delimiter, oops, semicolon, and again, if I just hit load we'll have a specific data from argentina in that specific folder and there we go now to do this dynamically we can loop inside this country list and do this over and over again how can we do that so to start with the loop we need to understand that we will have a country filter here using this area column and we have one country for each row so we have row number zero 
number one, number two, number three, number four. So let's pretend that we want to run until the country uh, in the 10th position, okay? So I will just add one here. Let's go until, oops, until Bahamas. How do we do that? We start the for loop using for and creating a variable here. It could be anything. I will just call it i equals to 0 to 10. So we will come from here to here. Now let's create a variable for the country. Let's make it let and let's call this variable vCountry. And with the pick function, we will pick, we'll select a specific ra uh, record from this table. So I will just make it here pick. What's the column we're looking for? It's the area column. Let's pick the i position, which is the variable right here. And from the table name is countries. Okay. Now I will just change here the Argentina for this variable, the country we have just created. And instead of Argentina here, let's also use the dollar sign, the country inside parentheses. And after that, we need to drop this table because it will be loaded over and over. If we don't use the drop command, it will just loop and store one over the other. So drop table and the name of the table is main table. After that, we need to call the next i. So basically it will uh, use zero as a position, pick the first one uh, in the zero position, make it here, go to the next one, which is one, and then it goes for the second, the third, and so on until it reaches the 10 first records. Let's see how it goes. Let's hit load. And now we have 10 files until Bahamas. And if we enter each one of them, we have the specific block, specific data set filtered for each one of the countries. How can we do that 188 times or regardless of how many records you have? We just change the 10 here using the function number of rows okay so we will count the number of rows from this table the table countries and in this case we just need to subtract one because this table has 189 records because the header counts and we just need to subtract one and if you want to place the files inside a folder you can also do that here in the store command so let's say that I want to call this uh, the, the name of the country and folder and then a file and use again the variable for the name of the country. Let's see what we have. So let's hit load and this will create 188 folders, each one for each country. And inside of each one of them, we have the file with file and, na and name of the country. That's it for today. Let me know if you like it, if it was useful for you, and if I went too fast or too slow, and stay tuned for more click videos, okay? Thank you, see you soon.